Well, today, Dr. Larry Nasser will be sentenced for child molestation. Of course, he is the former USA Gymnastics team doctor accused of molesting more than 100 women and girls. Nasser pleaded guilty to molestation and possessing child pornography. He's also facing a lawsuit from more than 100 women saying he abused them. And while we've been following the accusations against Nasser for years, a new victim has just come forward. That's right. Our Matt McCutcheon is here with her story. Matt, good morning. Good morning to you. Behind me, you can see just some of the many faces, dozens of them in all, all claiming Dr. Larry Nasser molested them. Today begins a major step forward in their healing as they'll confront him in court or have a statement read. Just yesterday, gymnast Simone Biles added her name to the growing list of victims. In a statement on her Twitter account that has gotten more than 88,000 responses, she says in part, quote, it is impossibly difficult to relive these experiences and it breaks my heart even more to think that as I work toward my dream of competing in Tokyo in 2020, I will have to continually return to the same training facility where I was abused. That is just part of her emotional statement. You can read the full one for you on WTHR.com. So many victims are expected to speak in court. We're learning that this hearing that starts today is expected to go until the end of the week. These girls on this U.S. Olympics team, Matt, they're heroes to so many young women and even boys that uh, are all across the country. So now you, you, you worry that are the parents going to have to explain to them what's happening here because they're coming out on Twitter. And a lot of these kids follow these girls on Twitter. And this is a story that has been really watched all around the world to see and to hear what has happened. So many people are watching, wondering what's happening, and also having to have those difficult conversations because, look, this is a doctor they were told right. to trust for so long and so many victims that they had to have those difficult conversations. So it's something about you see something, say something. All right. Coming up on the Today Show, by the way, one of the victims who will address NASA at a sentencing hearing, speaking with the Today Show. You'll hear what Jeanette Antolin says about her long fight for justice. That's coming up after sunrise right here on Channel 13.